Hi again, everybody, and welcome to Retirement SOS. I'm Ernie. And I'm Beth. And today, we're going to talk about Tom Brady as it's related to our topic, Retirement Regret. And one thing that I can say about Retirement Regret is that it's a little bit more common than you think it is. I don't have any scientific numbers, but just in informal conversations with some friends, they've had a little bit of retirement regret. Maybe not as much as Tom Brady did, but <laughs> what do you think about Tom Brady's situation? So he, reti uh, he retired, then 40 days later, he came back and said, look, I want to play one more season with Tampa Bay. Do you think he was truly ready for retirement? Clearly, he was not really ready for retirement. When I think when you unretire after 40 days, you didn't really want to retire in the first place. Maybe what he should have done was actually taken a bit of a vacation <laughs> before announcing retirement, like maybe, you know, thinking about it first, because it doesn't sound like he was ready. Well, let's face it. I mean, football is brutal physically. So I'm sure at the end of the season, he was battered and bruised. His body needed time to recover. But I think to your point, Beth, is that he should have taken the time. Really, when you make the decision to retire, you really need to have some type of blueprint, even if you don't write it down, but you've got to have something in your head, correct? Yeah, a plan, um, a plan for, you know, the next week, the next day, the next month. It's not um, a spur of the moment decision by any means. It's something that most people plan for, I mean, their whole life, really, their whole That's working right. life. But definitely when you approach retirement age, you're planning a little bit more than just um, sort of announcing I'm now retired. <laughs> yeah. And if you think about it, and we've said it so many times in our videos, that it's more than just the financial aspect of being ready. There's just so much more to it. It's all this time. And I guess the, the term that everybody uses now for that is longevity planning. And clearly, Tom just didn't take the time to decide what he was going to do with his time. So Tom was lucky. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, his employer, were more than happy to take him back for another season. I mean, let's face it, he's probably going to end up being the number one quarterback ever to play football. He's a sure Hall of Famer. But sometimes that's not the case. Well, I think that um, it does happen more often than you may, may think. Now, I can't speak specifically to retirees, but I know when I worked for a very large company, there were so many cases where people left to pursue another opportunity and then somehow made their way back to the company. Um, and in some cases, it was as short as being a month away and then realized that they liked where they were instead. So um, it, ha it happens. People will often retire and then come back on contract or find another way to um, find their way back to where they were. So it's, um, it is common. So as part of longevity planning, I think another good idea is to talk to your friends that have retired. I know that as I was approaching the last few years of my work life, I was talking to, to anybody that was retiring. And as I was getting closer to retirement, people were talking to me, like, what do you got planned? What's your, you know, what are you gonna do? And what's your mindset? So we're talking again about longevity planning and retirement regrets. So one of the things that Tom could have done is maybe talk to some of the ex-football players that had retired previously get some feedback from them. Because let's face it, with retirement, it's, um, it's a pretty serious decision. It's probably one of the most serious decisions you're going to make in your life. So you want to do everything possible to, to check it out. Right. Do your homework. Make sure you're ready. Tick all the boxes. So Tom, I wish you all the luck in the 2022 football season, except if you get to the Super Bowl and you play the Buffalo Bills, mm -hmm. because I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. But other than that, good luck to you. <laughs> so in conclusion, retirement really is a planning process. And if you found that you took a leap of faith and jumped into retirement without planning as much and have a change of heart, there's nothing wrong with that too. There's nothing wrong with going back into the workforce until you're absolutely ready. 
Thanks for watching Retirement SOS. So until next time. Bye for now.